been doing this for 20 years in our in our technology installation business it's not up to us to tell our clients what they do and don't install it's it's up to us to get it done for them and in the overwatch platform we've extended that to say to all of our msp partners we're not here to tell you what your stack needs to be or that we can or can't service it uh, if you're not cisco or palo or fortinet or whatever your preference is our goal has always been to bring forth solutions that are agnostic and again allow us to take the customer as we find them and find a way to help them amalgamate all of that information and to help them as they're out searching with their clients so that they're not single threaded or only able to serve a certain segment of the market so when we talk about xdr and in particular open xdr we think it's a really critical point. So why don't you share with us the conversations that Stellar has been having uh, around XDR and open XDR in particular with Gartner and some of the other industry channel experts. Sure, Mark. And, um, you know, I, I have been in the business for about 15 years. So I've seen lots of different go to market models for uh, what I'll call master partners like yourself, where, you know, you're supporting downstream partners, right? Um, because they are always going to have a, a different stack, right? So the critical piece to that, you know, from Gartner's perspective is that we need to maintain the openness of the platform so that we're not um, forcing a, a particular siloed um, manufacturer solution um, into the environment for your partner, right? Um, the openness of the platform really involves the integrations that we have with multiple technologies. There are two ways that we do that integration. The first is with parsers where we take like a standard syslog format and ingest that into the tool and put that into our interflow format. The second way that we do these integrations is through actual connectors. Connectors, uh, you know, would be like an API to API type integration. But the critical part here is that we are signing technology alliance agreements with those other manufacturers so that when we do the integration and they make updates to their API, we'll be notified and we'll support that connector as long as your you know, partner is, is a customer of yours, right? So, um, you know, Gartner, I think, realizes that those are some of the big challenges to maintaining an ecosystem. And I think we've done a really good job of building and maintaining those relationships yeah. so that we can continue to offer the most open you know, platform. But I still think XDR is, is being defined as we speak in, in the industry. Well, definitely. And that's one of the things when we talk to customers that um, they often have to get their head around because they're a lot more familiar with EDR and uh, it's, what I would call limitations and XDR, um, they, they're trying to get their head around what, you know, what does that mean? Is that just an extension of the EDR? And I think it'll be uh, really interesting. And I think it's great that you guys are working with Gartner um, to help uh, define that term and to get that, to, to get it out there as a standard, whether, whether it ends up as open XDR or, or whatever whatever we call it i think it's really truly special that everybody understands that um it, it it's more than just taking in endpoint detections and it's more than just taking in information from narrow bits of the network and i think um for us when we look at it is it's truly the opportunity to get a 360 degree view of the network and to say to a customer we know that you've invested in this EDR platform. We know that you have a strong next generation firewall from whatever manufacturer you want, because uh, your MSP, our partner has, has sold it to you. Uh, you might have a SIM in place and you might have thousands of rules already baked out. And that's all great. That's just more enhancement for us. We're not saying throw those things out. We're saying we can replace all of them in time if that's the way you want to, to tackle uh, the, the situation. But again, back to our core message that we've been talking to our partners about is that this is a business problem. And for all of us uh, and all of our MSP partners, none of it matters if they can't 
sell it to their customers, just like the way we, you know, that's why we take a very, uh, we think unique approach, novel concept. Let's have a business conversation around pricing and figure out how you price to your customers so that we can work into your stack and into your models because trying to shoehorn our needs into your stack might not work well for you, right? So when we look at the business problems of um, security, one of the things that we see out there, again, there's way too many tools out there. So we can maybe eliminate some of those tools. We can integrate the ones that you wanna keep into a, a true single pane of glass and use them for enrichments and enhancements in the data. Um, some of them will be standard out of the box. Some of them might require some customization that we have the, ca the capabilities to do it. Um, we look at the you know limited number of personnel and the very uh, the significant expense of adding personnel. Most businesses just can't afford to do that. And the management of data by streamlining all those things, you know, we we truly believe that's a, a business proposition not one that you're going to solve by throwing technology on top of technology on top of technology because what we find is organizations that do that they get really good at managing tools they may or may not be really good at security uh, uh, in fact most will tell you they're not they're really good at managing tools so um, that sprawl becomes uh, sort of a, a downward death spiral so that that to, to truly understand open xdr and the power that it brings to the table is, is tremendous.